You know, the best designs I find incorporate both a masculine and a feminine element to it, because that's what beauty is. It's a mixture of both. The rear, you have these haunches, the sort of muscular, like a cat about to leap, yet the, the mirrors look like a woman's eyelash, and that's what they were designed to look at. It's about beauty, it's about strength, which both men and women have, and you see that in the beautiful Pagani Waira. <laughs> How are you, Jay? Well, I don't get any more country than this. <laughs> Keith, how are you, my friend? How you doing? So you got it. Nice to see you. I did. Thank you. Great. Thank you for the advice. This is a Pagani Waira. This is it. Waira is the Argentinian god of wind. Argentinian That's... god of wind. Yes, exactly. I didn't realize You've that. You've already thought of 20 jokes right there. No, it just makes yeah. me laugh. <laughs> 720 horsepower, all carbon fiber. 2,900 pounds. Is that light, huh? It's pretty light, yeah. This is truly a combination of art and engineering. Look at these mirrors here. It's supposed to be like a woman's eyelash. And of course, the dashboard, oh my god. He actually has jewelers to put the whole thing together. Yeah. Can we open it up and see the engine? Is yeah, that possible? Absolutely. OK, here we go. Wow, AMG V12 twin turbo. Six liters. Right. And the inside's as beautiful as the outside. You've got this bag here. You could put all your clothes in here, oh, Jay. Oh, yeah, I get everything I own in there. You've yeah, got yeah. six denim shirts. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's look at the interior here. What is this? It raises and lowers the seat. So it's not a bidet. It shouldn't be used as that, Jay. No, no. All right, very nice. <laughs> well, can we take this thing for a ride? Let's do it. So what was your first car when you were growing up? <laughs> My first car was a truck. A truck? Well, yeah. that, that's country. <laughs> yeah, well, country. I was only 16. I saw on the side of the road at one night driving home from a gig. So you were earning a living as a teenager. I was playing in a band, and that played during the week without me. And I said to Mom and Dad, you know, you can legally leave school at 15. Luckily, they supported that. So at 15, I, I quit school. Wow. And I never looked back. You got, what, 15 Grammys? <laughs> no, I got four Grammys. Four Grammys. Very okay. grateful. Did you find you had to sort of earn your way in? Oh, yeah. I've been in Nashville 20, 27 years. Yeah. I love this car because I can feel the road. It has drama, just the right amount of drama. I always loved lumbering cars, big ocean liner looking things. Right, right. But Nick was much more of a zip, 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 zip here and there, and she had a BMW. And I drove it and suddenly went, oh, you don't drive it like this. You know, right, it was right, more right. of a yeah, 10 yeah. and 2, here we go. Right, right. And it slowly started changing the way I drove. Have you taken any road trips in this thing yet? No, I drive it to the studio and I put my guitar right where you're sitting. How many guitars do you have? Close to 100 guitars. Wow. There are a lot of automotive stereotypes in show business. You know, rock and roll people only like crazy hot rods with big engines in them, and country western stars only like trucks. Keith Urban breaks all those stereotypes. He's a country star who's not even from this country. <laughs> he's, he's from Australia. And he loves his trucks like a country boy. He likes good old cars like this here Dodge Challenger. But he can be eclectic. He likes his exotics, too. He's got extremely good taste in cars. Mm-hmm. <laughs>